The following is an edited recording from a live video broadcast. Image and audio quality may vary. So we're talking about the Sith, right? Can you imagine life as a Sith Lord, right? Now, I'm not talking the Rise of Skywalker version, right? I'm talking prior to that, right? I'm going to take this is an absolute classic. The joy of being a Sith Lord. There's only two of them, right? So imagine the scenario 300 years prior to the uh, Phantom Menace. Nobody knows the Sith exists at all, right? And you're a Sith Lord, and you got your red lightsaber, and you recruit a dude, right? He's a Jedi dude, probably a Force-using dude, whatever, and you go, okay, dude, guess what? You are now a Sith Lord. Awesome. you got to look in the book to work out what name you're going to get called, right? You go, all right, henceforth, you should be known as Darth, and he has to look it up. And you go, now, is it done alphabetically, or do they have numbers? Could it be Darth Vader the 15th? Or they just invent, okay, we're up to X's here, or Y after that. They've got to give him a name, right? Darth whatever. And as soon as you go, beauty, I am now Darth whatever, right? That's, that's his name, Darth whatever. He's under the W's, right? Darth whatever. And he goes, beauty, can I go and tell anybody? Can I go home and tell my folks that I've now become a Sith Lord? And he goes, the master goes, no. Oh, okay. Can I go and tell my friends that I'm now a Sith Lord? He goes, no. Oh, okay. Can I go and tell my girlfriend that? No. And he goes, oh, what's the point of being a Sith Lord? You get a red lightsaber and you can't tell anybody who you are. So then you say to the master, all right, so what's my purpose in life? What am I meant to do? Now that I'm a Sith Lord, you're my master, I'm the apprentice, right? And the master will say, your job is to kill me. And you go, all right, cool, done. All right, I got that part figured out. As the apprentice, my job is to knock you off. And then what happens? And then he'll say, you find an apprentice of your own. And then down the track, he'll kill you. And you go, what's the freaking point? <laughs> is that the career progression of a Sith Lord? What is the deal with that, right? And you go, well, what's the end game? It's like 400 years from now. This dude called Palpatine is going to be running the entire galaxy. But as of right now, it's just you and I. How good is this? Party, party, party. It's like, how crazy is that concept? I absolutely love it. It's hysterical. All right. Um, we also thought it was the dumbest thing that the Sith somehow followed the rules as to how many there could be. Yeah, and the idea being behind that is that the Sith were notorious for destroying each other, which ironically is what happens, or well, not happens, but is planning to happen in Rise of Skywalker. There are Sith everywhere on Exegol, all right? Now, the, the group in the back, they're not Sith Lords. They're Sith the Sith Eternal, they're cultists, if you will. But clearly, the idea of there's only two people at any one point and nobody knows about them has gone out the window, right? Because they've got this entire group going on now. But yeah, the Sith were notorious for destroying each other. This is covered off in the Clone Wars. This is where da uh, Darth Bane came from. Instigated the rule too. Done. Works good on paper. But the theory is, behind it, the practicality gets chucked out the window. And you go, that makes no sense whatsoever. I'm going to be a Sith Lord. I can't tell anybody. I get a red lightsaber that I can never use. Uh, and eventually, not only do I have to kill the dude who taught me to, to be a Sith Lord, but then I get knocked off by my own apprentice. What is the deal with that? And I get given a name based on a book. They go, Darth whatever, right? And they go, that's, that's who I am today, Darth whatever. And uh, I always thought that was quite amusing. So uh, as a nerd, you think of these things, and I'm one of them. So um, uh, having secrets is fun. Uh, I wouldn't think so because if they said, Oh, uh, you've got to wait in the next few hundred years. Then it's going to manifest itself into ruling the galaxy. You'd be pretty pissed off, wouldn't you? So there you go. Do you get life insurance as a Sith Lord? That's a classic one, actually. I, I don't know. And, of course, you'd have that whole thing of you can't travel in the um, same ship at the same time because if the ship crashes, the Sith is destroyed. Can't have that. Uh, yeah, you're right. Ange beat me to it. Can't travel together, all the rest of it. So imagine the office Christmas parties at, at, at uh, Christmas time. It's just the two of them. It's like, well, here we are. Beauty. You can't tell anybody. You can't anybody. It's... Just amusing when you sit and think. So, yeah, being a Sith Lord, and that's why they're so angry all the time. That's why, yeah, it's, it's not what it's all cracked up to be. So, uh, yes, exactly right. At least Darth Maul got to do something, right? He got to go and slice and dice some dudes as opposed to just being like everybody else and saying, well, I've just got to keep it secret. Don't tell anybody. Shh.